Tornado Cash. Have you heard of it? This is the Ethereum DeFi application that hackers have used to launder hundreds of million dollars worth of hacked cryptocurrency. And now I'm going to show you how to use it. But actually, there are some serious legitimate reasons for using Tornado Cash that are not illegal. How would you feel if literally anyone on the internet could look up all of your financial information? This means the money in your bank account, your salary, your debt, your investments. Obviously, that wouldn't be ideal, but this is exactly what happens on the blockchain if you aren't careful. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tornado Cash to protect your financial privacy on the blockchain. By default, all information on most blockchains is public. If someone can identify your main financial blockchain address, they'll be able to see not just your net worth, but every single transaction that you've ever made. Currently, the best way to keep your financial information private on these public blockchains is to make sure that nobody can link your wallet address to your own personal identity. But if every single transaction is public, how can you even send money to this main private wallet in the first place without it being tracked backwards? This is where Tornado Cash comes in. By using Tornado Cash, you can send funds to a fresh wallet without having a traceback to the original funding wallet on the blockchain. Tornado Cash uses a simple yet elegant mechanism to provide anonymity. Cryptocurrency is deposited into the smart contract by the depositing address. Deposits can only be made in set amounts like 1, 10, or 100 Ether. This deposit goes into a pool of funds shared by all Tornado Cash users. The funds are then withdrawn by a different address called the relayer to be sent to the recipient. Because there are multiple withdrawals of the same value, the withdrawal cannot be tied to the specific deposit address and the on-chain link between the recipient and the depositor is broken. This is actually a really cool implementation of ZK Snarks, which is a type of zero-knowledge proof. If you want to dive deeper, I'll link that part of Tornado Cash's documentation below. So what is the best way to use Tornado Cash? If you are putting any serious money into DeFi or NFTs, it's pretty much a must use. The main workflow that I'd suggest using is to fund a specific on-chain wallet from a centralized exchange. Then once you have funds on-chain, use Tornado Cash to send those to a fresh wallet. This can be your main financial wallet. If you ever need to do any identifying transactions, such as buying an NFT and putting it on your Twitter profile, or voting in some kind of on-chain governance that could be tied back to your personal identity, then you should use Tornado Cash to send funds to a fresh wallet for these identifying transactions. All right, so let's get into the actual tutorial. Here we are on the Tornado Cash website, which is uh, tornado.cash. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and as you can see, this is mainly just the landing page. You can see some interesting stats, over 2 million ETH deposited. Okay, so the thing that you want to look at is right here are the UIs for interacting with Tornado Cash, and there are a few different ones. It's possible at some point that these would change, so just um, be aware of that, but you can find them here. And they have an IPFS link as well. I'm going to just use this tornadocash.eth.link. So here we are in the actual UI, and we're connected to Polygon Network, um, which is where we're going to be doing the transfer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and make sure that your wallet is connected. So I'm going to open my MetaMask, and I'm going to connect that, this account that I'm currently on. So I have around 115 Matic in this account. I'm going to be sending 100 of that Matic into a fresh address that should be completely... Um, untraceable back to this address that I'm sending it from. The amounts of Matic that you can send are preset between 100, 1k, 10k, 100k. This protects the anonymity of the transaction. And on the Polygon network, you can only send Matic, but there are other options for other networks. And if you're curious, here are the networks that they have right now. It's most of the EVM compatible networks and the L2s. So the actual process is pretty simple. We're going to go to deposit, click on that. And so that should automatically download a .txt, a text file, containing this secret note. This is like a private key in the sense that it's going to be able to allow you to withdraw your funds from Tornado Cash. I'm going to click to copy that, but when you're doing this, you really want to actually have it saved on a file because you're not going to be withdrawing right away. You're going to want to wait a few hours before you withdraw. 
So I backed up the note, and I'm going to send deposit and approve the transaction in my MetaMask. Okay, I'm going to approve that and pay the gas. Okay, looks like that went through. We can go ahead and look at Polygon Scan to see the transaction. And so here's that transaction. As you can see, you can tell the from address that's interacting with the Tornado Cash smart contract. So going back to the UI, we're going to click withdraw. And this is the step where you're going to enter in your recipient address. So this next part is very important. If you want to have a good amount of privacy when you're sending to your next address, you really want to wait hours or even days. As you can see, my latest deposit was one minute ago here. And so if I deposited one minute and five minutes later, initiated my withdrawal, it would be pretty obvious to anyone watching that that could be a connected account. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to go ahead and withdraw. So for this point, it's worth talking about the best practices for staying anonymous because there are a few things that are out of scope for this tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to create a wallet address for your DeFi, your finances, or for NFTs that cannot be tracked easily by anyone else on the internet back to you. What this tutorial will not help you with is keeping you private from people with access to greater levels of information, like your internet service providers, whatever RPC endpoint you're using to interact with the blockchain, and just governments in general. If you're interested in learning more about deeper levels of anonymity, um, Tornado Cash has a guide that you can use that talks about having your IP address, clearing cookies, using a different RPC endpoint, etc. But like I said, that's out of scope for this tutorial. So let's just get on to the withdrawal. So here we will paste the text from the note that we generated on the deposit. So here we go. It was able to locate our funds. We have deposited 100 Matic seven minutes ago. So like I said, this would be very easily trackable. So you really want to wait uh, days, if not longer. So this is the point where we can actually choose the recipient of these funds. I'm actually going to put my own donation address for the channel so you guys can check out the Etherscan afterwards and see that these funds came from Tornado Cash. Also, shameless plug, if you find the content useful and you want to send me a few bucks in Matic or Ethereum or something for a coffee, I'd really appreciate it. So here we can actually change the withdrawal settings. So the main thing that you can alter here is you can choose a different relayer and each relayer will have their own fee. Most of them are 0.05, but there are a few 0.01. I don't have any specific advice on which relayer to pick, so I'm just going to go with the default. So as you can see, that relayer will get 0.05 Matic here because of the fee. So I'm going to go ahead and hit withdraw. So now it's generating the zero knowledge proof, which actually takes a little bit of time. Okay, so we've successfully generated the proof. Go ahead and hit confirm. And I got a transaction failed. The relayer could not send. So let's just try again and choose a different relayer. Okay, so I re-entered that info and then I'm going to choose a different relayer. Relayer status is okay. So let's go ahead and save that and hit withdraw. And now we're going to generate the proof again. Okay, proof has been generated again, hit confirm. So you may have noticed we didn't actually have to interact with our wallet or MetaMask for the withdrawal because it's the relayer that actually pays the gas and initiates the withdrawal. So this helps to break the link between your own wallets and the wallet that you're sending the funds to. So let's go ahead and open up that transaction on Polygon Scan. And you can see that 99.9 Matic was sent to uh, this wallet, the recipient address, and then a portion was sent to the relayer. But there's no sign on chain of any of the addresses that I actually use to send the funds. And actually opening up my wallet, I have the funds right here without ties back to the initial wallets that I used to initiate the transaction. There you have it. You now have the tools you need to keep your finances mostly private on the blockchain. If you are watching this video, you are at the cutting edge of the upcoming financial paradigm shift, decentralized finance. If you want to stay at the cutting edge, hit that subscribe button to join our community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.